Post game here with the Sasquatch after a 3-0 loss to the Stingers. Just could never seem to really kind of get that rhythm to push over the edge with that team. What what was missing out there? Well, <laughs> All right, go ahead, we go were, ahead. Uh, the our fans could probably tell that we had a, a bit of a mixed up lineup. Uh, we had our usual libero setting. Yeah. Uh, so we were, we were kind of filling some positions. Uh, and yeah, it was just kind of a, a last minute thing that we had to do. And it kind of, kind of threw us off. I think we honestly did a very good job given those circumstances of playing fairly consistently. Uh, and the Stingers played a great match and they, they kind of had a couple runs in each game that just put them a little out in front that we couldn't close. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm proud of our team for, for how it came together given the, uh, the adversity that we had to push through. Yeah, the guys did a really good job of picking up uh, some not optimal sets. Uh, <laughs> That was, that was probably <laughs> probably the best I think our team has come together through that adversity. So shout out to the rest of the team for picking up the slack there. And so, you know, Cody McCracken had the injury. Yep. Sam Cole wasn't here this weekend. Yep. You have to make this change at Setter and Libero. How hard is it, you know, as a new team to try and claw and get some wins when there's all these constant changes happening? I mean, it is it is tough, but it's something we've been doing all season. So if anything, I think we're getting a little bit used to it. And we have a lot of guys that can play a lot of positions. Uh, and I think that overall, especially especially today, this was this is one of the one of the, the better showings of, of us coming together and doing that. Like we said, uh, it's it's for sure tough. And and I think that sort of lack of consistency it has has and, and will continue to be a, a, a struggle for us as a team. To, to push through, but it's a good battle to fight. Yeah. And at this point, after this loss, I mean, I don't know if mathematically this is the case, but playoffs are tough. <laughs> what is your outlook and what is your mission the rest of this event and the rest of the year? Uh, we're still trying to, you know, make a, a comeback story, a late run. So we got the Tyrants on Sunday. They're going to be tough. Um, we should have a more standard lineup that, that <laughs> match, um, so we'll kind of, you know, pieces should be where they are, but we're still going to be fighting Klon, and today, like you mentioned, um, the guys did a really good job keeping the ball in play, resetting some stuff, so we're hoping we can carry that smart mentality of just resetting, giving our D a chance, block a chance, um, into Sunday's match, so try and be the tyrant Sunday and then next event try and win out and see what see what we can do. Yeah, I think the big thing for our team is really, I mean, we we don't want to be outcome focused, right? We want to be play the game one point at a time and really be process focused with this. And I think that's that's really really the best thing that we can do as a team is is really focus on on one play at a time, one point at a time and you know, tr trust that process and, and keep pushing forward. Appreciate it. That's all I got, guys. Sweet. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, and happy birthday. Appreciate yeah. it. Oh yeah, it's Damien's birthday. <laughs> Don't cut this out. It's Damien's birthday. Wish him a happy birthday in it's, the comments. It's staying in. Yes. <laughs> Thanks everyone.